Now that we've used the tracker node to um, solve for a couple track points, now we could move along to using that tracking data to either stabilize or match move an image. Um, so back in our tracker node, if we look into the next tab for um, in the next tab of, in the properties for it, um, this is the settings tab for it. So there isn't normally a whole lot you need to um, deal with in this section, but uh, it does give you a couple options of if you're having an image that, for example, has changes in luminance, um, you could check this box here and um, also change the error settings for it too. So you could change the tolerance level for it to help your tracker um, stick to a point better. Um, the other uh, options in here too that um, sometimes can be handy to adjust is, um, for example, if you no longer want to see your uh, zoom window over here, you could change this show zoom window to either never and that gets rid of it or you could always just leave it on track move or when tracking. So it only appears when you're tracking and then once you've solved, uh, it doesn't show you that zoom window anymore. The other thing too is if you have a lot of manual keyframes you've put in here, so your hand tracking, a point slipped off and you needed to readjust that point, you'll end up with a lot of keyframe displays over here and Nuke likes to, to, Nuke likes to process those downstream and that could slow down your um, your comps. So what you could do under this uh, keyframe tracking option here, you could, under this keyframe display, you could set this to none and it'll never show you that keyframe display anymore. So that's a handy thing to, to set um, after you've got your track solved and you don't want it to process the display anymore or process that keyframe. It doesn't affect what the tracker is doing at all. It just takes away the display for it. So that's a handy one to keep in mind. But for right now, I'll just leave it to scroll um, to near single line only. Um, and we can move on to the next tab on this thing, which is the transform tab. This is the uh, main tab that we will be using to do our match moves and stabilizations. So uh, to begin with, what we could do is this transform option by default, it's set to none because we were solving for a track. But if you wanted to use this track to stabilize your image, uh, in this pull down, you see you have the option to stabilize, you have the option to match move as well as remove and add jitter to your image. So. Uh, one way to test to make sure our track is working pretty well is always to set this to stabilize and check, uh, flipbook our, our, uh, our plate to see if it's stabilizing. So we'll do that for right now. I'm going to set this to stabilize and um, we could view this tracker now. And if we press play, you'll see your, you'll see our image is nice and locked. Um, you could see this outside bounding box. You're seeing, you're seeing what the what the image was originally doing. It was panning, but our our tracker is doing a good job of stabilizing it. So that's what the stabilization option does. So in this case, if we wanted to add something in here, we could definitely add it and then reapply the move back to it. So that's pretty good so far. It's doing a pretty good job. And keep in mind right now, this is just using track one. So if we wanted it to average the other two tracks that we've done, if we set, um, let's go to a frame like this. If we set track here and on and check these transform options in track two and track three, and we flip book now, you could see it's going to be using all three of these tracks to stabilize, which isn't a bad thing in this case because we have a track point that's really close to camera and we have two points that are in the background. So it's a good way to average between um, between the, the, the three points so that, you know, a point up here would have more parallax than points back here. So as you could see, we've got a pretty good stabilization going on right now. And if we had rotations as well, you would see that too. So um, based on what we've selected here, you could see our track is set to zero on our face first frames. And as we move on, you could see these X, Y values um, as, it's, as it's trying to stabilize here.